I would like to remind everyone that in a few minutes the evaluation will begin. You will be called into a room in your living quarters or you will have a Skype session with my boss. He will ask you how you like and how you enjoy living on Mars with me. Now I would like to point out that the room that you will be having the interview in is monitored. Of course I want you to be completely honest with my boss and tell him the truth about everything including the freezing on the first few days but also remember that the feed is monitored and I will be watching it. I'm not asking you to lie but just keep that in mind okay like keep that in your head it is a monitored room with cameras and I will be watching the feed. Alright, so the first person to be called for the interview is August Lang. Yes, I'm excited. I'm very happy here on Mars. Oh yeah. And if August Lang gets a little big bigger dinner tonight, I don't know what happened. Ask the cooks. Don't ask me. I don't know what happened. The next person is gonna be Rafaela Wolf. So, um, we'll see. Hopefully all the interviews go well. Just keep in mind the cameras, guys. Keep in mind the cameras. Alright, our boss is calling me and he will tell me the result of all your interviews. The long-time dream of the human civilization as a whole to settle another world has come true. We did it, guys! We are on Mars! To be among the people who made this happen makes me feel enthusiastic and proud. Thank you, boss. It makes me feel enthusiastic and proud too. You are already sworn with application for a location on Mars and the wanderlust and enthusiasm of these people makes me proud to be a human being. Ooh, our boss is so happy. Red Planet continues to be inhospitable and even dangerous. But we as a species have always displayed the ability to adapt and improve. The adverse conditions will only make us try harder, so I say bring it on! I agree with my boss. Bring it on, Mars! We are gonna colonize you anyway! The colony has been evaluated positively. Good job, guys! I'm so happy you were honest and I want to thank all of my colonists for your honesty. You did a good job. You did a good job. Additional colonists can be called from Earth. Looks like we've got a serious adventure ahead of us. Yes, we do. So what I'm gonna do is... Ooh, we found an anomaly. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is send our, anom our, send our anomaly to scan our anomaly. <laughs> send our RC Explorer to scan our anomaly. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to send for another rocket. However, this thing is still not built, so we gotta increase the priority. It's almost built, it's almost done. And we're gonna call our people. First of all, I need some botanists and a couple more geologists for this and then we're gonna need a few more geologists and uh, engineers to work in the factories for this lower dome. So the first, uh, first um, okay, is gonna be for this eco dome up here. So these are gonna be people that are gonna be living with you and me. So let's pick them. Now I'm gonna begin my interviews just like usual. I'm just, you know, I just gotta tell my assistant like the preferred permit. We won't know youth, just adult and middle age. And the specialization is going to remain geologist and botanist. The perks. We would like celebrities. Also gurus if we can, but we don't seem to have any of those. Look at quirks. Oh, we would like... We don't want tourists, but we wouldn't mind vegans. Don't worry, they'll tell you. Oh yeah, we'll definitely tell you. And as I'm a vegan, I will take more of them. Plus, I think we will keep it. No chronic condition, no idiots, no lazy people, no melancholics. Everybody else is fine. Melancholic well, trust trait is a little strange, but look, if you're the first person on Mars, it can be sad. It's like it's not an option. And I'm pretty happy with these choices. We might like get rid of the hippies. We don't need them that much. We'll go like this. All right. So let me look at the people we have. Leon Roth. He's a nerd and a workaholic. Absolutely. What else do we have? 
Uh, Nicole Barnard, alcoholic, religious, and a hippie. Alcoholic is not great, but like I said, we'll we'll have a therapy. We might give her a couple of AA meetings. It's where she's gonna be alone because <laughs> we have no other alcoholics. So yeah, not enjoyable for her, but it's gonna be fine. It's fine. Anselma Berger, who is a nerd, I'll take her as well. We need more botanist. Yona Heristava, she's composed. Oh, okay. We'll have two alcoholics now. Um, well, at least they can be friends. Wendelin Schmidt, who's a gamer and a whiner. Wow, we have a lot of bad traits like gate. Well, actually, it's gamer, not gambling. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Wendelin Schmidt in you go. Lindstorm, Gustav Lindstorm. You no, know, you know, his name is actually Lind. But, well, last name is Lind, but they call him Lindstorm because he gets so angry. Like, he has really, he's like, um... He's just like, he gets this like, angry outburst and he like, throws that he's really, really, really angry. So they call him Lindstorm, but then... Oh, it's Lindstrom, not Lindstorm. Oh, oh, never mind. This is just a misspell. My assistant didn't get his name right, so... They call him Lindstorm, but they misspelled it because my assistant's doing a really, really bad job. Never mind. But you already knew that. Like, she started with the pamphlets and now she's like, she just keeps getting worse. Never mind. So, Gustav Lindstorm, whose name is written wrong. And he is, um, yeah, he gets really, really mad, but he's a fantastic medic. And you might be hearing my other medic yelling, like, why are you taking him? I'm completely okay and I'm doing much better. Well, I'm taking him anyways. Who else could we take? We need six more people. So we have a couple of engineers, but actually would prefer more botanists. Oh, here. Stoyan Boyanov, he's a religious enthusiast, and Einar Lindgren. Lindgren. He eats double rations, but you know what, it's fine. As long as you're a botanist, I'm happy with you. No more geologists, either four more people. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna take a couple scientists, I guess. Or you know what, let's take no specialization, because we can eventually train them. Like Adolf Zuckerman. <laughs> he's a Zuckerman, because he's a vegan. <laughs> Zuckerman. Uh, if you don't know what that means, it's like a sugar man. His name is Sugar Man. <laughs> okay, we'll take Adolf Sugar Man. Hello, Sugar Man. <laughs> okay. And he's, he's, he's a very sweet man, as you can tell by his name. He's one of the kindest people you'll meet. He's like, he's always so composed and very kind, he always wants to help everybody, you know, and because he wants to help everybody, he couldn't decide in his life, like, am I gonna be a doctor, am I gonna be a cop, so what am I gonna do, because I just want to help people, like, what, 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 what can I do, then he just kind of ended up with no specialization, because he went to medical school, and then he went to cop school, and uh, police academy, I, I hear you, and uh, then he just, like, you know, he just tried, he just kept studying for all his life, and now he's like, oh, well, maybe if I go on Mars, I'll help people. So, Adolf Zuckerman Sugarman. Mr. Sugar. I'll call him just Mr. Sugarman. <laughs> Hello, Sugarman. And, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, three more people we need. I guess we'll take scientists. I don't know. Don't, don't care. Can we take any more botanists or geologists? Um, no, we took them all. Did we take them all? Yes, we took them all. So, just like, you know, we'll take the people. Edward Sandberg, he's a vegan hypochondriac and a survivor. He's a survivor, so he's gonna be like, I can't eat, I am fine. I can't breathe, I am fine. I can't sleep, I don't care. I am fine. I just want to go to a medical facility. That's all I want. We have two medics for him now, so it's fine. And we have a Beatrix God who's a vegan and religious. It seems like everybody on Mars is gonna be vegan now. Which is fine, as we only have a fungal farm. Uh, Beatrice Roth. No, you know what? We'll take we'll take Angela Yanko, who's also a vegan, and also, okay. So apparently on Mars we only have vegans and sexy men. It's just like every man we have has the sexy trait. It's like the women are like regular, but the men are like top of the top apparently. And we'll take you, Audrey Kristoff, a female scientist who's a workaholic, and in you go. Launch anyway, even though we only have two people who can actually live somewhere. And I'm gonna build you guys apartments. Now, do we wanna remove this living quarters? And I think we do. We'll salvage this. And we'll build living... Oh, sorry, we'll build apartments here. And oh, you can see this kind of like... 
clear. Do we? Do we did research the decommission protocol, right? Just to be sure. Are we still working on it? No, we got it. Did we get it? Yes, decommission protocol in we have it. Okay. Rebuild? No, we want to clear this. We're going to destroy all our living. So this is where we used to live. Everybody immediately move out. You will no longer be able to live here. And everybody's homeless now because we did this too soon. Okay, let's increase the priority on the apartment. We need six polymers, which we have, and 25 concrete. Hopefully the drones in this hub are going to work on that. Everybody's homeless now, but nobody cares because everybody's at work. Everybody's like... I don't know what's happening to my home because I'm at my work, so I can't see it, so... Okay. But yeah, we should... Uh, hopefully the drones will hurry up because we need to build this ASAP. And we also need to destroy this ASAP, so when the night comes, we actually have a place to stay. Oh, I like the little sirens here. It's like, please stay away from your former living quarters. There is a destruction in the process. Destruction in the process. Please remain far away from this spot. All right. Oh, I'm still laughing about the fact that we went down here sexy men on my people. Like the, you know, like the the requirement for women is like, you know, if you're smart, we'll take you, and for men is like, if you're smart and pretty, we'll take you. It's just kind of mean, but also kind of hilarious. Like, only pretty men on Mars. And these people, and the first people, Hugo Olsen is the first person to realize he's homeless, and everybody else is like, what? Where is mine? He's like, I don't have a home, and everybody's like, what? I don't have a home either. What's happening? They're destroying my home. They're destroying my home. I don't have a place to live. Don't worry guys, we're gonna be able to live in a much nicer places. That's this beautiful apartment. You're gonna have trees around, which is kind of fitting for an eco dome, so we just have to wait it out. Everything will be fine. See all our little drones are hurrying up. The drones are like realizing like the people are panicking. We gotta build this very fast. Otherwise the people will have a heart attack or something else that's very scary and breaking them out. Okay, 17 concrete, 6 polymers left, 18 concrete now, we're getting more. Oh, this guy's run out of battery. So now he's going with the concrete to recharge when he was just almost there. 22, 20, 22 should be soon. Yes. Yeah, we don't have much metals. We need more people to work here, which I'm aware of. So for the moment, I'm gonna give them a higher heavy workload so that they'll actually work a bit more. We have 5.4 per day, and if you turn this off, it's 4.3. It's actually not that much more, so I'm just gonna turn off the heavy load. People are like, I, I don't have a place to live. Just like, I should have said the truth in the interview. I was freezing, and they let me nearly die, and now, now I, I was I was lying, and now the result is that I'm completely homeless. And also have no life support. Oh no, it's the other zone. Okay. But first thing, let's check out the... And we know where to look. Even the tiniest, simpler looking rock can contain the answers to mysteries which reflect the human mind for generations. Sometimes it just takes a simple discovery to assure us of the vastness of the universe and encouragement to make us look beyond the boundaries of our systems and into the future. Because why would you look in the past? Storage compression and systematic training. Let me look at it. Storage compression, water, oxygen and power storage capacity is expanded by 50 percent. That's pretty interesting. And systematic what? Systematic training. Scientists and botanists have plus 10 performance. I don't think I care about that. But we might want to increase these extractors. We will increase power production by a lot, but we need the metals quite quickly, so I'm going to work on that after. Life from Mars. Yeah, you know what, let's work on it. We're going to take more people, so... This dome has no... This dome has... Wow. We need to... This dome needs pipes. We'll work with the anomaly in a second. So let me give you give you some water. Okay, so this dump should be fine now. How are we with our we still haven't finished building our apartments? Okay, this anomaly 
my explorer go check it out okay and now ooh, it's night and everybody's like walking out those few ragged people are like relaxed who's ragged a couple of people are like i'm not stressed i'm i, I have been homeless on earth i couldn't care less about it Everybody's like, what? I don't know what to do, I'm freaking out. And they're like, calm down, just lie on the grass, it's gonna be fine. Oh, and our, our robot is working. And you can see the first floor is essentially built. And we continue upwards. And it's getting done, it's getting done, guys. So I apologize to everyone, we're gonna have one... You know what, actually, no. This is an exercise, I'm testing you all. Everybody just, just sort of sleep on the ground or walk around all night, whatever fits you, because apparently everybody's like This ground is dirty here, I don't want to sleep there, except for ragged people who don't care. Everybody else is like walking around like, no, I'm not gonna sleep in dirt. <laughs> okay, well, you don't have to sleep in dirt anymore. Now we can sleep in the apartments. We have our 12 people who are very, very happy that they have a home again. Let's look how freaking, how much they're freaking out. Let's look at Mrs. Wolf, who was very happy this day it wasn't a full moon, because if she was a wolf running around and everybody else would be like running around with her, she'd be freaking out a lot. So apparently, yeah, she had no available, no functional residence, so she was very angry. But overall, she still has a 56 morale, so she's like, I'm still in a relatively good mood. I didn't have a place to live, but I am fine. Okay, and our friends are coming. Our friends from Earth are coming, our new roommates, essentially. And look at this apartment, isn't it beautiful? I mean, aren't you guys happy that you survived that one night? Oh wow, okay, oops, I didn't say anything. Everybody, um, <laughs> you're gonna have a cold wave in 17 hours. Not great. Okay, our new people are in. Where are we gonna put them? How am I gonna put them here? You know what, let's just place them in here. So all our new people are gonna come and join us. We're gonna have to start worrying about the cold wave very very soon. But first let's let's enjoy them coming here and then we'll worry about cold wave. Oh and here they come our new friends. Mr. Sugarman. Mr. Sugarman is coming. And wow who is this? Uh, Edward Sunberg. Leon Roth, Audrey Kristoff, I can't see my Sugar Man yet, it's fine. I mean, he's not mine, of course. You know, Mr. Sugar Man. Who's this? Anselma Berger, okay. I think this is a money sign on him, he's like, I am rich and I'm gonna tell everybody. And I know it doesn't matter on Mars because I can't buy much. Oh no, and Manfred Fleischmann is also rich? What's this mean? He wasn't rich when he first came here, he's like, I'm rich now. Oh, maybe it means that he's unemployed, he's like, I'm not rich, I'm actually poor. Okay, we're gonna uh, have one more shift working in this metal extractor, so more people, so we can get more metal, but now that our people are here, everybody please settle around and also get around, because we're gonna have a cold wave in eight hours. And yes, if you're wondering if this is a hazing ritual that we welcome our new people by having a cold wave, yes it is. You're completely right. Because I'm the boss of the weather on Mars and I can call for a cold wave so that you know what it feels like. Ooh, we found another anomaly. Alright. Let me send my explorer to get it. In you go. Where is it? Did it go? Yes, it's gone. All right, now the question is, we should build the apartments here, of course, but we also need to build like a million of... Maybe we have some this one. I'm gonna put the apartments kind of here in the back. We need to build a lot more wine turbines, because as you might remember from my logs, the cold way increases the electric consumption like crazy. So we need to have like a lot. And I mean lots more power. Because the wind turbine also work at night, we're gonna use them. They make 5.5 production, solar panels only do 5, so it's a little, not much more, but it will also work during the night. Oh, we finished mega storage. Now we can build a large water tanks. 
And this should be good because we have this little um, subsurface heater which increases the warm, otherwise these water towers will freeze. So now that I can build large water towers, I can actually save up a lot more water. Oh wow, this is really big. They weren't kidding, kidding when they said that it's gonna be big. Um, ooh, this is like so big. I could place it here. Is that within range? How far does this go? It's only like partially in range. You know what, actually let's just build a normal one. And uh... We'll build the big one somewhere else with its own subsurface heater. Yeah, yeah this dome has no nightlife support. Oh, the cold wave has begun. Everyone, please remain in your dome. And yeah, hide in apartments. Like everybody's like, we get it. We're already hiding. Don't worry about it. It's like nobody outside. Let me look at somebody. What is uh, August Lang doing? Our happiest man on Mars. Oh, we can't. Oh, we discovered a breakthrough. Oh, courage has layers. Okay. They face uncertainty which no humans have faced before. Hugo Olsen, on the other hand, albeit a pioneer, doesn't seem especially brave. Makes jumping in fright after seeing one owns a shadow look like a normal thing. Oh man. Don't worry, man. It's fine. Courage is finite. By night. Don't worry, man. I will just come see me in therapy and I will make you break. No, I'll just make you feel better about being a coward. Don't worry about it. Okay, breakthrough is covered. Safe mode. When a colonist suffers a sanity breakdown, they fall asleep and wake up after six hours with 70 sanity. Colonists can commit suicide or gain flaws due to sanity breakdown. Uh, okay. That's interesting. So apparently we, when you feel like you might want to hurt yourself, we will cuff you to your bed, make you fall asleep, and then when you wake up you'll feel better. I guess. Oh, well, as long as you are gonna stay alive, I'm pretty happy with that. But uh, yeah, we're not gonna research that just yet. Ooh, we have problems. We have plenty of food, so I don't really care that these two things are out of power. They're not out of power anymore because it's the day. Alright, we need 177 power. That's insane, God. Yes, I do realize the pun that we were just talking about the sanity. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, insane. And uh, this is actually during the day, so we aren't even making enough during the day. Which I guess is understandable considering we are in a cold day. Could we turn something off? But if we do, it will freeze. And then we're gonna have to fix it, which I don't really want to happen. Okay, why aren't our drones building this? Somebody please build this. Work on these wind turbines for me. Thank you. Can you do that? Yes, they're... They're not really doing... One building is not working, yeah. You know what, this... Actually, let me... No, I don't want to turn it off, because it will then break. I don't want it to break. So we're just gonna leave it the way it is. It's not going to work because we have too much concrete, which is understandable because our robots are working on stuff like building the wine turbines. Hopefully. Yeah. So how are we doing? 118 power production, we need 177. Now that's during the day, this is gonna be so rough at night. I think we might freeze at night because we're just not gonna have enough power in our eco dome. So everyone, please gather all the blankets you have, and uh, yeah, tonight is gonna be very, very rough, and I mean very rough. So just like, yeah, try not to think about it, and uh, we'll worry about it at night, and uh, yeah, I'll try to figure out some solution, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.